Okay, in this second clip, I'm going to show you how we solve a situation, uh, the, the ambiguous case, when you have the two triangle situation. How do you get the two triangles? So, from the previous clip, we looked at this triangle, and we analyzed it, and we noticed that given the 50 degrees, 3 and 2.5, with a height of 2.3, this creates two triangles. And as you rec recall, we moved this, AC can move all the way over to this side here. So what does it look like? Well, let me put in a new picture and let's get rid of the height here. When I drag the new triangle in here, the important part for the first piece is to know that we do have two triangles. So let's find them. Using the law of sines, we'll say the sine of 50 is the 2.5 as the sine of C is the, is the 3. Cross multiplying, we get that angle to be 66.82 uh, degrees. 180 minus these two angles, and we find the missing angle up top. And then using the law of sines, we finish this problem up, and we get 2.91 on the bottom. Now, most kids will leave it like this, and they'll say that that's the only triangle. But because we did the test, we now know that there are two triangles. So where does it come from? Where, do the two, where are the two triangles? So this is what happens when we put that triangle on the other side what happens, this 2.5 rotates over to here. And what's created here is another triangle inside, which is isosceles. And so we know that if this is 66.82 degrees, this angle over here is because these triangles are right. This is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, the angle inside here will be 180 minus this angle. So this is the second triangle that we must solve right here. We know that is a 3, 50 degrees, 2.5, just like this one is. It's just, it's going to be obtuse. So by taking 180 minus this, let me just put this in a position where you can see it. If 180 minus 66.82 degrees, we get this angle to be 118.13 degrees. And then just like the, other, the first triangle, we can, uh, 180 minus those two gives us the 16.82 degrees for that angle and then doing the loss of signs, we complete this triangle. So these are the two triangles. The acute triangle with these three angles and these three sides, the 2.91. And this triangle here, the, there are two situations that are created with these red measurements in this angle side side case. So, And that's it. Um, it takes practice to, uh, to recognize this situation, but remember, watch your ASS.